Oh, dear viewers, this is a, a quick one. You see, uh, remember last week, Raila Molodinga paid Pastor Ezekiel a visit, and uh, there are a couple of things which Pastor Ezekiel told Raila Molodinga, and we are beginning to see some of these things come to uh, fruition. Like, for example, the issue of bank accounts, those are one of the things that uh, the government has done to freeze them, freeze, uh, freeze Pastor Ezekiel's account. The second thing that uh, the government has done is to close a TV station. So, it is alleged that Ezra Chiloba, because he's the one who is at the helm of a communications authority, has taken it upon himself to stop the TV channel for Pastor Ezekiel. And these are some of the things that already indicate to a possibility of a government's interference in this issue of uh, Pastor Ezekiel. Because it does not make sense that uh, the court said the, 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 the church should operate and even the government promised to provide security. But then the government goes ahead and uh, closes the account or freezes the account and then stops that TV channel from airing. So the only move here is to bring down this church completely because the church is being denied, denied fine, funds. The church is being denied airwaves. So those two things already indicate that the only motive here behind this issue is that the government wants this church to fail completely. So we believe that these are things that uh, Raila Molodinga was told by Pastor Ezekiel that he had seen, he had seen maybe during his uh, prayers that uh, the government was coming full uh, blast on uh, the church and the main interest intention here is to close it down so one of the things they say that is that Pastor Ezekiel has been receiving a lot of money but one thing that the government is forgetting is that sometimes some of these things are donations sometimes are tithes you know there are people out there in the, the outside country who always like to support churches they support uh, orphans they support the needy so they see that Pastor Ezekiel is one person who is a uh, uh, believed to be uh, a trustworthy pastor. So the government is showing all the indications that it wants to stop this church completely. So that's why we believe that what Pastor Ezekiel told Raila Molodinga during that meeting was something that is now beginning to be seen as a prophecy. What Raila was told is that the government would go full blast on this church to close it down. So the government has already uh, in, in, portrayed uh, uh, that it's one of the parties that are uh, only eyeing the closure of that church. I know that William Ruto is not happy uh, with the church because of the previous utterances by the pastor, but the pastor made those comments in his capacity as a church leader and a, a society leader. So, ladies and gentlemen, kindly let's uh, wind up there, and I just want, had, wanted to share this with you. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel, and I, I, I'm so glad that you keep supporting our channel. And may you stay safe until uh, we meet again for our detailed analysis.